What's going on, car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today, we are back at Bentley Atlanta. We're here to take a look at the 2021 Bentley Flying Spur. This is a gorgeous car and a beautiful spec. This color is called Moonbeam, and with the interior, it just gets better. It's finished in a beautiful cricket ball hide. Now, before we get into too many details, let's first talk about where the name Flying Spur originated from. We first heard the term Flying Spur around the 1950s with the Bentley Continental S1. And around that time, Bentley's design director, his name was Arthur Talbot Johnstone of the Johnstone clan of Scottish borders. And his family crest had an iron riding spur suspended in midair. Now he took that crest and put it on the grill of his personal Bentley Continental S1. And ever since then, the name stuck, hence the name Flying Spur. So today, let's talk about the exterior and interior details of this 2021 Bentley Flying Spur and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. When it comes to the front of this third generation Flying Spur, there are quite a few significant changes that you're gonna notice. The first one would be this new revised vertical vane grille. It's wider and more prominent than what was found on the second generation and truly gives the Flying Spur presence when looking at this vehicle from the front. Now, one of my favorite features by far are these LED matrix headlamps with the crystal cut effect going into the headlamp design. I love how Bentley always just incorporates so much detail and to every single thing they do, these look spectacular. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that the headlamps have these black surrounds. You also have a black grille. This is part of your black line specification. Typically, these parts are finished in chrome, but with the black line specification, obviously it blacks it out, gives it a more menacing and aggressive appeal. Now, you also have a black flying bee mascot, and on this vehicle, it features illuminated wings. It is stunning. Now, when it comes to the hood of the vehicle, it's sculpted and flows very well with the overall design. Now, underneath the hood, you're gonna find a six liter twin turbocharged W12, putting out 626 horsepower between 5,000 and 6,000 RPM and 664 pound-feet of torque at the low engine speed of just 1,350 RPM. This is the world's fastest production sedan. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna come to me talking about the Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye. This is something else. The Hellcat Red Eye is quick, but it is not as fast as the Flying Spur as this has a top speed of 207 miles per hour. Now the twin turbocharged W12 is able to propel this car from zero to 60 in just 3.7 seconds. It's connected to a dual clutch eight speed transmission. So with a top speed of 207 miles per hour, the 2021 Flying Spur is the world's fastest production sedan. Now that Hellcat Red Eye might be quicker to certain speeds such as 60, I believe it's a 10th of a second quicker, but the overall top speed of that Hellcat Red Eye is 203 miles per hour. Again, this is 207 miles per hour. What an amazing vehicle. Let's go ahead and check out the side profile. When you observe this flying spur from the side, you truly get a sense of how large this vehicle is. It's definitely larger than the outgoing second generation, as a matter of fact, the front axle has been moved forward. The wheelbase has been extended. So the wheelbase on this third generation is 125.7 inches. That is five inches longer than the outgoing second generation vehicle. Why is that? Well, remember, the Bentley Mulsanne is no longer in production, so that car is gone. This third generation has been created to kind of step its game up and fill in some of that gap that the Mulsanne left. So this ride is all about comfort. And we spoke on several vehicles before. We know that extending the vehicle's wheelbase positively impacts a vehicle's longitudinal acceleration. It also lowers the vehicle's center of gravity. We also know that when a vehicle is in motion, inertial force is passed through that vehicle's center of gravity. So since the center of gravity is lower in this vehicle, you're gonna get a smoother ride and you're gonna feel bumps in the road a lot less than you would have in a car with a shorter wheelbase. So I really like what Bentley has done to try and step the game up of the Flying Spur. I really think this is a car that people are gonna start paying attention to now. Not so much as what happened with the second and first generation Flying Spur. Now, one of my favorite features about the side profile are these sharp lines. Only Bentley incorporates sharp lines in the side profiles of their cars like this. What they do is they heat up the metal to 500 degrees Celsius 
and then blow it over a male or female portion using gas pressure, giving you these sharp, complex lines and shapes. In the aerospace industry, we refer to this as superforming. I really think it just brings out a strong definition and tone of the side profile of the car. I mean, look at the hips on this thing. It is truly stunning. Now this particular Bentley Flying Spur is fitted with the 21 inch tri five spoke wheels that have been finished in a bright machine finish with gloss black accents goes well with that black line specification. You'll also notice that black line specification blacks out your beat on the side profile here and your window surrounds, which are typically chrome, again, giving you some of that aggressive look. Let's go ahead and check out the rear. Now standing at the back of the Flying Spur is where you could truly admire more of that complex bodywork. Look at how the lines go gracefully into the trunk lid, but also look how the trunk lid is full of these complex lines and shapes. That's thanks to that superforming technique we mentioned earlier. Now coming lower, you'll see that you have Bentley lettering on the trunk lid. That is optional. If you don't want the Bentley lettering there, you can remove that. Now what I like most about the rear are these new LED tail lamps that kind of have a B in their design. Now, if you look closely, it even has that diamond cut effect that you saw in the Matrix LED headlamps up front. Again, Bentley's attention to detail is second to none. Now, coming lower, you have oval exhaust tips. Beautiful car. So we just covered a ton of the beautiful exterior characteristics of this Bentley Flying Spur. I want to talk to you a little bit about the factors that impact the driving dynamics of the vehicle. Now, as we mentioned before, this is larger than the outgoing second generation yet it is 83 pounds lighter. How is that? Well, that's thanks to an extensive use of aluminum and high strength steel, but this is still a heavy car at 5,300 pounds. So how does it handle like a sports sedan should? Well, first of all, you have Bentley Dynamic Ride. That is able to keep the car level while driving aggressively on curvaceous roads. In addition to that, you also have an active air suspension. As a matter of fact, there's three air chambers per wheel in this vehicle. In addition to that, you have torque vectoring by braking. And essentially how that works is while you're driving aggressively in a corner, it's able to apply the brake on the rear inside wheel, causing a torque shift on the vehicle, aligning the vehicle on a better vector suited for the turn. So again, Bentley is really pushing for that amazing handling. Now, in addition to that, you have all wheel steering, meaning that at high speeds, the rear wheels will turn in the same phase as the front wheels, giving you increased stability. Now, at lower speeds, the rear wheels will turn in the opposing phase as the front wheels for parking lot situations, giving you increased maneuverability. Now, this car is also all wheel drive. So 664 pound feet of torque is a lot of power. So is 626 horsepower, right? So a slip is detected, it's able to send a percentage of that power up to the front wheels, giving you improved handling as well. As you can see, Bentley isn't just about luxury and craftsmanship. They also have done a lot to make sure the Flying Spur has superior handling. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out this car's interior. Now, when you sit in this Bentley Flying Spur, you're going to be amazed just by the aroma of the leather alone. I'm telling you guys, this car just smells so amazing. And that's thanks to the 10 cow hides that were used to complete the interior of this vehicle. Now, if that offends you, Bentley will also be offering a vegan leather option in the future, but if you get that, that will offend me. Now, starting at the top of the dash, you have that smooth cricket ball leather, nice and smooth to the touch. I can't stress that enough. You have a contrast linen stitching here as well. And then coming further down, you have a wood split. So a dual veneer finish with the dark burr walnut and then the black wood finish looks great with those chrome accents going straight through the middle of that. That is beautiful. Now, my favorite feature about this interior is the rotating display. So you don't see the display right now. This is what Bentley refers to as architecture dominance. But when I hit the start button, everything wakes up. The rotating display rotates, it does its thing, it comes on. And then Bentley refers to this as technology subservience because it's hidden. So architecture dominance, technology subservience. And the reason why this is important is several years from now, when this car is old and on the used car market, it's not gonna be dated by a screen that's just constantly exposed in the center console. If you don't wanna see the screen, you can simply rotate it. And you can also rotate the screen again for three analog gauges. You have your temperature gauge, a compass, and your chronometer. That is just, that's class. If that's not class, I don't know what is. So a really nice finish there. I'll rotate it back. 
and the touchscreen in this car is fairly responsive. There's several different menus here that you can go to, and I went through that in a different video, so be sure to check that out if you haven't seen that already. Now, coming lower, you do have easy buttons here, just one touch buttons if you wanna to go to a different screen mode, your phone, navigation, different menus for the car, so you're not just limited to using this touchscreen. But using the touchscreen is awesome. It is fairly responsive, and I'm just amazed at how well it's hidden and tucked away. Back in the day, when you were in a Bentley or Rolls Royce vehicles, you had the top tier in quality and craftsmanship, but you had absolutely no technology. They were getting destroyed by their German counterparts as far as the technology is concerned. But nowadays, it seems like they're up to date and it's just truly amazing how it's been executed in their vehicles. Now coming lower, you'll notice your traditional bullseye vents are no longer located in the center console here. What you get is a nice solid piece of metal. And again, with that diamond cut finish, it just truly feels amazing to the touch. And again, just gives you a reminder of the sense of quality and the car that you're sitting in. Really nice to the touch. And I love how the clock has just been integrated in the center there. Now coming further back in the center console, you have your electronic gear selector and then controls for your seating and ventilation as well. So three levels of heating and cooling in the seating as to be expected in a car this caliber. You also have a rotating knob that allows you to select your different driving modes, such as your sport, Bentley mode, comfort, or custom. So everything is just laid out here, really easy to use. And in the center of that rotating knob is your start stop button. So the design has just been executed extremely well as far as everything's been laid out in the center console. And of course you have two cup holders here. And then also there's a wireless charging dock hidden in front of the gear selector. The design of this interior is just second to none. Now, when it comes to the seating in this vehicle, as usual, per Bentley, it is beautiful. You have six massage options, and as I mentioned before, you have three levels of heating and three levels of cooling. But look at the embroidery and the craftsmanship that went into here, especially with the linen piping. Now, if you look closely at the seats, you can truly appreciate the time that went to create these beautiful pieces of art. Look at these diamonds here, how they just progress as you go upwards and become smaller and smaller. Bentley refers to this as their lofted diamond design, and it is truly stunning. And of course, you have an embroidered Bentley B with the wings on it that just ties everything together very well. The seats are extremely comfortable. As you would expect, you could take a long road trip in this car for hours and hours and just experience comfort, peace, and tranquility. But also, you can just flip this car into sport mode and blow everybody away with that twin turbocharged W12 you got sitting up front. Now, coming over to the steering wheel, covered in that smooth cricket ball hide with the contrast linen stitching, it takes eight hours to stitch this steering wheel by hand. So again, truly remarkable craftsmanship here. And behind the steering wheel, I also have a thin film transistor display system here, fully configurable. So if I want the navigation here, directly in my line of sight, I can take advantage of that as well. There's also a head up display system in this car. So again, you're getting tons of tech here that you can't really see because it's not always in your face, but it's there when you need it. And if you don't want to see it, it can instantly go away as well. You have the lane keep assist. You also have a 360 degree parking system, all the safety features that you would want. Truly a beautiful piece of art. Now, what I really like is the details here. Bentley's all about the details. I can't stress that enough. Even on your turning signal stock, you have that diamond finish here with the cut design that you saw in the headlamps the tail lamps, and it's even carried into these bullseye air conditioning vents, and again, in the center console vent as well. Truly a beautiful vehicle. Now coming over to the door panels, again, covered in that cricket ball hide with the dual veneer splits. The door handles here have that diamond cut finish on the interior portion of the door handle. So you have a nice tactile feedback when you put your hands in the door handle there. Nice and cold to the touch because everything's made out of metal. And then coming lower, you have all buttons for your windows here and side view mirrors, storage on the bottom of the door and two position memory for the seating up front as well. What an amazing car to be in. I'm telling you guys, this is truly a stunning vehicle and a stunning spec. Let's go ahead and check out the rear. Now, when you sit in the rear of the Flying Spur, it's gonna hit you that this is truly the place to be. Now, while this is a driver's car, sitting in the back ain't so bad. I mean, tons of luxury acres and acres of leather back here tons of leg room i have not moved the seat so i have tons of leg room comfortability in the back is not even a question and if you feel that the interior is too dark back here you can take full advantage of the panoramic roof 
everything is just executed beautifully now coming over to the door panels they're covered in that smooth cricket ball leather with the contrast linen stitching and feature that interior lighting that you see all throughout the vehicle now the door handles feature that same knurling on the interior portion so you're getting a nice feedback when you put your hand in there your controls for your seats are displayed here on the door i really like how you can see them of course two position memory and then coming lower in the door you have controls for your windows and shades that's right, we don't tint our windows at this stage of the game. We use the power shades if we want privacy. Goes up nice and smoothly, and if I want to put them down, one touch, they retract nicely and smoothly back into the door. And once they're retracted, you cannot see them. They are not there. So that's truly amazing. Now the seats are just as comfortable as they are up front. You have three levels of heating and cooling, and of course you have the craftsmanship that they put into the seats as well. The leather is so soft and supple. And then of course you have the lofted diamond design that you saw up front as well. And of course pillows with the linen stitching going around the pillows also. Now one thing that you really have a little bit more of than you did up front is what Bentley refers to as their three dimensional diamonds in the leather. So those stand out really nicely on the door panels. I think it has a nice textured look. That's a first in the car industry. I've not seen that in the automotive industry before. Now between the seats here, there is a center console, nice and smooth leather as expected, but even here you have the knurled finish on the center console, that's impressive. Of course you have two USB ports and a cigarette outlet here. And then you have two cup holders in the center here, an additional storage back here, or you can opt to have a refrigerator back here as well. So everything in the back is just as luxurious as you would think it would be in a car of this magnitude. Now, my favorite feature about the rear here is right here in the center console. You have a remote to control all your systems. Simply press eject, the remote pops out, and even the remote has a nice quality feel to it with the knurled finish on the back of the remote. That is attention to detail. So from the remote, you can control aspects of the car, such as your blinds, the panoramic roof, the navigation, if you want to tell your driver where you want to go, your climate, even controlling the illuminated flying bee mascot from the remote is a possibility. Now I've done a whole video just going through the menus found here in the remote. So if you haven't seen that yet, be sure to check that out. This is really expensive. This is not something you ever want to drop. So I'll put this back here and then coming lower, you have your air conditioning vents again, accented by that metal diamond cut knurling. Everything in this car is just top notch quality. So that was a brief tour of this 2021 Bentley Flying Spur. Isn't this an amazing piece of machinery? I'm completely in love with this car. And if you didn't want this car before, you want it now. This vehicle is stunning. The performance figures are stunning. The design and execution, especially that interior, is just remarkable. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments section. I wanna give a special thanks to Bentley Atlanta for having me over to come review this amazing machine. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the automotive reviewer that YouTube deserves.